Today I'll be talking to you about gravity. Gravity is how the moon stays by us and how we stay on Earth. Without gravity, there would be no us, no Big Bang, no history at all. So I will take you on a journey learning about gravity. Okay, here I have a sp uh, webbing, a space-time webbing, or this is basically a model of how gravity wants to work. So say you have one object in space right there, and then you put another object right there. They will want to go together, hopefully. But they didn't because they didn't have enough mass. Say you put one there, and then one like that there, they will, they will actually go together. Now, if I take, like, a few of these, put them like that, that'll be like our sun. So then if I have our sun there, and I take the other, another ball, if it doesn't fly off, and roll it around, then hopefully it will go all the way around and not stop. But since these, I'm using the same marbles, and it's really hard to do, actually make that work. Since I don't have the right materials and not the right space-time webbing, this doesn't work very well. But you get the idea. Now that I just showed you about gravitational webbing, I want to tell you a little bit about the history on gravity. Gravity was first, the idea came up back, when the, back in the Greeks, but it wasn't really researched until an apple fell by Isaac Newton. Then he's like, then he wondered why an object as an apple that, was, that originated as a resting object could increase in speed without a force being acted upon it. And then he also discovered that the moon would go in a straight trajectory away from the earth if it wasn't acted upon by a force that they couldn't see. So he started, he came up with the idea of gravity. Then Albert Einstein came up with the general relativity and he said that gravity is like webbing as I just showed you. He said that webbing is what is, that gravity is the bending of the webbing of space-time. And that is how the history of gravity came up and that's still what we use today as our models and other teaching methods today.